she was someone that was just very good at everything and people would get fake jealous like like oh of course you're good at this or kind of in a funny sarcastic way like a bunch of her friends would tell me that she was just definitely a mom she was really smartest person I know as well Ashlyn Goyla, a now junior on the Furman women's soccer team, lost her mother to cancer. She was diagnosed when I was in eighth grade. She experienced some back pain. She initially thought it was from, she like recently did, started a joining with like a tennis group and went to doctors for that, did like physical therapy to kind of treat it. Nothing was getting better and weren't looking at the right things. So it did take a while for them to get to the conclusion that she was diagnosed with metastatic stage four breast cancer. And the symptoms were like in her back, like it traveled like two areas, like in her back and like discs. And they told her and my dad that she'd probably have like two years on her. And then, I mean, my dad was like, absolutely not. She was like so resilient. And I mean, like she was able to like fight it like really good. I just remember it being like, I almost didn't really process it. The fight against cancer stole precious time from Ashlyn and her mother. For the most part, like, I was never with her in the hospital when she was doing treatments. She missed my high school graduation. I know she was really upset about that. Me, I don't really care about my graduation that much, to be honest. And it was so, so strict with, it was basically a COVID graduation. So we, right after my graduation, I just like hopped in the car and like drove like straight to her to like see her and like, you know, show a diploma. And she got to see it on the live stream anyways, which she was happy about. With graduation, starting college, and Ashton's life moving at 100 miles an hour, the adjustment was hard. I remember getting, I mean, it was September, so we were getting right into our, like the bulk of our soccer season, so, and then also getting into the bulk of kind of classes in school, so since I was a freshman, you know, everything's new and whatnot, but I get a call from my dad. I was just in my dorm room and he just said like your mom's back in the hospital. She's like not doing too well. He was just like I think you need to come home. So then he told me like he booked a flight. I just remember being so chaotic. I went to the hospital the next day, got to talk to her and then I think the next day after that is when she got transferred to hospice care. Maybe another day or two later after that was when she passed. And I mean, had the funeral, had a lot of family over and typical kind of funeral stuff. But after that week, I pretty much was like, okay, yeah, I'll go back to school. I don't know, a lot of people were like, you're crazy kind of thing, especially my teammates. They were like, why are you here, like, right now? And I was like, yeah, I don't know, I guess. Although she had to rush back to school, the loss created a deep hole for Ashlyn, so she and her teammates have taken steps to keep her mother's memory alive. To honor Lorelai and all the families who have lost loved ones to their battles with breast cancer, Firma Women's Soccer holds a breast cancer awareness match during their first game in October. This match contains many elements dedicated to Lorelai and her impactful life. Many thoughtful words are said. Alum and late mother Lorelai Goyla. And in 2022, a bench that now overlooks the field was unveiled in her name. This year, Ashlyn was able to design shirts in advance of the match to portray what breast cancer means to her. The pink wave across the stadium shows the dedication of Ash and her teammates. No matter the result of the game, the team plays for a greater purpose. One of the best ways I can kind of honor her is like bringing her up, what she was like, and in a more happier sense, doesn't always have to be about like the dark that kind of surrounds it. But then it's also at the same time, you can't like push all of that away and just kind of pretend that's not part of it when it clearly is. I think I'm a completely, I would say different person than I was. I mean, it's really helped me with like other relationships and learning how to express my feelings, how to feel my feelings. I've also just learned to like speak my mind and to kind of go after what I want, not to be afraid as much because, you know, life is short. So, yeah, I like the person I am right now. Wow, don't just wing it. <laughs>